friends, this is Thaddeus from Going Nerdy. And as, a, as I made this video earlier this week, I was thinking about what types of TV shows I would love to see Disney Plus add that revolve around or take place within the Star Wars universe. Now, these are clearly just the shows that I want to see, but... I think that there's some of you guys out there that would also love to see these types of shows. So I just said to myself, I'm going to make a video, right? And I'm going to talk about this specifically. First and foremost, guys, I've got to say, if you are new to the channel, then you probably don't know this, but I am a huge, huge Honda Onaka fanboy. I love the Weequay Pirate from Clone Wars, from Rebels, from the extended universe. One thing that I would love to see, and I'm sure that I am the only person that I would that would be think this is hilarious and awesome in so many ways, but I would love to see Hondo running either his pirate empire during the you know the Clone Wars or rebuilding his scoundrel fleet shortly after the end of the Empire. But what I would love to see, how this would work out in my mind, would be a an office-style uh, mockumentary featuring Hondo Naka, where they, they do their little interviews, they interact with what's going on, and they fight, they battle, they love, they lie, they cheat, they drink, they steal. It would be hilarious, especially as a mockumentary, with Hondo at the helm. The second show that I would absolutely love to think, I would absolutely love to see and kind of feel like they might take uh, this type of, of situation is th they've talked about doing a, a movie based around the Moss Eisley Cantina, right? Based around the, the, the life of, I don't know if a bartender or whatever, but, but, the, the dangers that a cantina person kind of experiences. Now, what other famous show do we know of that takes place in a cantina of sorts and was highly acclaimed for a number of years? That's right, friends. Cheers. A Moss Eisley-style uh, TV show based on the premise of Cheers. You've got a big powerful like bartender who was i don't know maybe he was a, a a pod racer and who lost all of his money or maybe because of the the disease that that space pod racers get or something to that extent uh that's talked about in bloodlines maybe you know he has that and he can't race anymore so he he gets a bar right and he's got this crotchety old uh pilot who or or astromech Kind of like you saw with Coach in the first episodes of, of Cheers. Definitely, definitely would be a fun storyline. Especially because it could introduce and connect to other, other characters. It could take some of the... It could and make it humorous, right? Take the funny style of Star Wars. And there's always a funny moment in a cantina somewhere. Let's admit it, guys. It just really would be awesome. Now, if they didn't want to take the humorous aspect of it, sure, I totally understand that. But what they could essentially do is have that cantina person running secrets for the rebels, running secrets for the resistance, right? That would be cool. Three, just perfect for this one. It would be a story about Ahsoka, Ezra, and Sabine making their way back from the, you know, unknown regions and having to disguise themselves. It would be a Three's Company-esque humor story where the three of them are living together and they're trying to hide themselves from either the remnants of the Empire or the beginnings of the First Order. And, you know, hijinks and hilarity ensues. You know, there's always an inept... Uh, imperial person there's always an inept first order person so this makes sense you know throw in some humor throw in some some lightheartedness i think that would be awesome number four mr belvedere now again follow me on this one you have a jedi master right we don't know if all the jedi masters died 
we know that a handful of them died in Order 66. Yoda escaped. Others died we know of. But who actually survived? Who survived? Who on the council made it out alive? We don't know. But maybe one of them, maybe it was Yaddle, right? Yaddle survives and she takes some of those younglings that weren't slaughtered by Darth Vader, Anakin, um, and trains them in a, you know, a very loving familial environment where it's like, oh, it's okay, we'll protect you. And she pretends to be, I don't know, a butler, but, you know, dealing with the hijinks that these kids get into. Now, whether it's humorous or beloved or whatever, the idea of a, a master trying to continue on the, the legacy of the Jedi or the purpose of the Jedi would be powerful. Now, if it's not a master and it's just maybe a Jedi Knight, we do know that has happened a number of times. Now, back to silly, and I think this would be really, really fun, a Tremors style television show set on Tatooine and actually following Sarlax. That would actually be pretty cool. A, a mobile Sarlax has... I don't know, uh, swapped in and, and checked out or whatever. He's decided to terrorize a colony of whoever. I don't know. But that would be really cool and, and funny and silly. But only if it starred Kevin Bacon. Let's, let's agree to that. Kevin Bacon would have to be in that in one form or another. Now, finally, guys, there was a book that actually... It, it fills this storyline... And it's the story of MASH, right? Now, MASH takes place in the, you know, during the Vietnam War, and it's it's humorous, but it's also um, it's also serious, and it's 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 funny, but but it, it has some some grave stuff on it. There was a duology in the the old canon that took place during the Clone Wars called Med Star One and Med Star Two, and what it did is it followed these this group of Jedi who were essentially doctors who allowed player or who allowed clones to it, it helped them survive and it was their interactions they're dealing with the light and dark side they're dealing with the the war the the it, and it's it's a very solid very good story and if you want to check it out even though it's not canon anymore it is a really good one now this could be something that especially with with the kind of environment and and anti-war concepts that are going on in in modern society today i feel like this might actually be a very fitting story and something that i could easily see disney take take advantage of the story is there they've already got it written and, and published they would need to make a few tweaks it's it takes place in an era of the film or an era of the the universe that is highly beloved and it could interact it could it could show us characters that we ourselves love but it could also take place on a distant side of the galaxy that you know we never have really seen before and it would be absolutely fabulous because again i really love the duology the medstar 1 and 2 duology it's a solid series but these are just a handful of the ones. Now, some of them are obviously a little more serious than others, and and some of them are a little more plausible than others. As much as I as I would like the the pirate ship Hondo as a a television show, a mockumentary, I have no belief that that's coming ever. But uh, a surviving Jedi trainer training younglings, uh, a mash style television show, the story of Ahsoka finding Ezra, Ahsoka and Sabine finding Ezra, the exploration of the outside universe, I think are all very plausible. If the three new TV shows that were confirmed by Bob Bagger to take place actually do take place and they're not the three TV shows that are currently in the works, what would you want to see? What would you want to see as a Star Wars television show? Where would you like for them to explore Clearly, we don't know anything about the their what their focus is going to be in the Old Republic. Definitely, there's a lot of Old Republic stuff that could take place. I don't see them touching that with a 10-foot clown pole. 
until they've done a movie. And I don't see that taking place until 2025 at the earliest. But what do you guys think? What would you like to see? Leave a comment in the section below. Catch me on Instagram and on Twitter at RealGoingNerdy. Give me your thoughts. Follow me. Let me know what you think. If you are interested in actually reading or listening to the MedStar Duology, check out the link below and you can get a two or a one month audio subscription to Audible. You get two free books and it's great, guys. The Star Wars quality, the, star, the quality of Star Wars audiobooks is phenomenal. Check it out. Sign up for a month. Cancel. You help me. You help the channel. And you get two free books out of it. It's a great opportunity. But let me know what you guys think. Like, subscribe, share. This has been Thaddeus from Going Nerdy. And as always, my friends, smile. And stay nerdy. Oh,